Okay. Um, you know, this has been a great show. Uh, these guys, let's keep it going for them. I mean, really, you're spoiled. Usually, it's not this good. It usually is not this good. Usually, if you want to make any money off a show, you have to charge people to leave. It's free to get in, 10 bucks to get out. It, usually, the, the, town, the talent is that bad, but tonight, you guys are you're just killing it. Okay, so let's keep it going. Ladies and gentlemen, please clap for Mike Horner! public for a beautiful crowd. Thank you for being here at Sport the Comedy Parlor. It's a wonderful, wonderful establishment. Excited to be here for some reason. I'm just going to tell you guys what a piece of shit I am for the next five minutes. <laughs> you listen to the 8 Mile soundtrack all day trying to get pumped up. <laughs> so, all you guys in the front row will do you a favor and scoot back. I got the nervous toots and I want to... <laughs> I don't be intimidated just because I have an Under Armour hat on. I'm not an Olympic level athlete. I'm a surprise for everybody. This is just the only Under, under Armour I could find that my nipples don't poke out. <laughs> Sad. I was had a good time getting on stage because my back's been screwed up for like three weeks now. And I can finally walk again. And Having a back injury is the worst way to be off work because you can't do anything. You have to lay there and watch Golden Girls reruns for like eight hours, and you can't even jerk off. And they put Blanche on there like they're just tenting you. It's just like, ah, I'm, 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 I'm so proud of that. I just did that because I promised a friend of mine I would come up with some good masturbation humor. But I told him, man, I don't know enough about the subject. I've only done it like a handful of times. <laughs> uh, uh, so stupid. That's so stupid. That's for you, Steve. That's for you. So I... I got called a hero one time. I think people are throwing that term around with loose. Because I'm not a hero, I'm far from it. Picked up a hitchhiker with every intention of being a hero because it was icy out. I was like, I'm gonna help this guy out. I got a four-wheel drive, I got chains in the back. It's icy, he's probably stuck. No, he opens the door after I stop. He's like, hey, which way are you headed? I was like, well, it's a divided highway, so I'll go that way. <laughs> <laughs> go forward, obviously. He's like, hey man, I need to ride to the casino. What? I was like, where's your car at? Like, no, I can walk from my girlfriend's house. Like, okay, yeah, let's go. Let's, work, let's rock on. So I get a couple miles down the road, and he's like, hey, man, do you drink? I was like, yeah, of course I do. I'm grown up. And he pulls out a bottle of vodka from his coat. I'm like, no, I'm good. That's kind of gross. <laughs> not, not the germs, but the vodka. It was like cheap. There's <laughs> or something. <laughs> so we get to the casino that he's headed to, and the god awful weather when it's 10 degrees out, and there's ice everywhere, and there's cars fishtailing about to run him over, destroy him. <laughs> and he gets out, he's like, man, thanks, Mike, you're my hero. <laughs> no. I didn't turn down the vodka because I didn't want the vodka and I'm a responsible adult when driving. It was because I already had a drink and I'm already drunk. <laughs> what used to be a 32 ounce Jaeger bomb in my console, which is now like a 4 ounce Jaeger bomb. <laughs> no, I'm not a hero. I'm throwing that around. We got troops overseas. <laughs> It's crap like that that makes me think I got more street smarts than I do. I bought a cigar about a week ago on my lunch break because I was feeling gangsta. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I told the girl working at the gas station. I was like, hey, one of these because I'm feeling gangsta. <laughs> and before I could say just kidding because I thought she would pick up on it because I'm not gangsta. <laughs> She's like, okay, the T27. And I didn't want her to have to avoid the transaction. She was new, she was a young girl, she deserved better than that. <laughs> and 
So I got back to work, fired that bitch up, because I was disgusted. <laughs> and that was a terrible idea. Those are disgusting when they're full of tobacco. <laughs> they're way better the other way. If you don't know what the other way is, just find out. Somebody will tell you. <laughs> so I got some good advice for you guys. If any, anybody here a doomsday prepper? <laughs> All right, they're crazy people. All right. <laughs> My grandma told me you can use the same handful of toilet paper to blow your nose and wipe your ass. Which is disgusting, but it's true. Just make sure you go in the right order. It's <laughs> a little life hack for you guys. <laughs> and some of the worst advice I ever got was from a stripper. Surprise. <laughs> she was like, hey, you should wear sweatpants in here. <laughs> no, I should not. Nobody wants to deal with a sweatpants boner in a semi-public place. I want to spend my entire night apologizing to people, buying them drinks, because I'm knocking them off the table. <laughs> I'm like, I'm getting on their shoulder. It's a horrible idea. And I say that's the worst advice I ever got, but true story, I swear to God, a uniformed police officer told me, it's not rape if you yell surprise. <laughs> yeah, bad advice from a cop just trying to get me tased. <laughs> I think to God he was kidding. <laughs> By the way, Jake, I hope that's not your turn. <laughs> So I unlocked a new achievement in the game of being a tubby bitch. Because <laughs> I'm not an Olympic level athlete, even though I got the under on my arm. I'm a poser. I, I got winded scooping ice cream. I'm like, I was like halfway through, which I shouldn't call it the halfway point. It's your wedding, but it's over. <laughs> and, uh, okay, that's not the halfway point, first of all. And then, I try to, of course, I try to blame it on everybody else. Because I talk, stop, take a breather. I'm like, hey, well, uh, uh, sucking off my asthma inhaler. And me yelling at my wife, I'm like, hey, who, who turned the freezer up to 10? Okay, this is too much. I want to turn it down to seven. So I'm not crippling myself doing this. <laughs> and it's sad that that happened, because for one, I thought that was a halfway point. It's not. And this is horrible. <laughs> Due to the fact that it happened, it's, it's sad. This is a statement for America. <laughs> this is the shape our country is in. <laughs> yeah, that's how you unlock an achievement the game of being a tubby bitch. <laughs> and I believe that's about my time right there. You guys have been a great audience.